I am so excited you're here because I have several truly high-end patriotic Dollar Tree DIYs that I know you're gonna love. If that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. For DIY number one, I'm going to start off with the stars. Two of them are from Dollar Tree and two I believe I got at Michael's back at Christmas time a few years ago. So I start by just taking off the hangers from the back using my staple pull. And then once I remove the staples, then I just go ahead and sand those little holes smooth with my finger sander, which you can always find linked in my Amazon shop down in the description box below or in the pinned comment. Or you can also find them at Walmart and Home Depot. I have seen them at both places. So I'm going to start by painting one of the smaller stars with my Dixie Belle Voodoo Stain and then wiping off the excess. For one of the Dollar Tree stars, I'm going to take my navy blue acrylic paint and I'm just going to give the back side and the sides of this star two good coats making sure to dry in between. If y'all have been around for any length of time then you know that I am super impatient so I love to use my blow dryer to dry things in between coats. I then paint the second smaller star with my crimson Waverly chalk paint, making sure to get the edges really well. And last but not least, I'm going to paint the last big star from Dollar Tree with my white Waverly chalk paint. And this particular one, I do give it a distressed coat of paint. That way you could see some of that brown showing through. Next, I'm going to take this star transfer that has several stars and the words July 4th, 1776. I cut them up and then I just kind of figured out which pattern I wanted on which star. So I'm going to start off with the white star and use the American flag design. And of course, I transfer on the stars with my blue chalk paste. I believe this is called Moonlight Shimmer. Do not quote me. I can't remember exactly, um, but I will link every item that I can from Chalkator down in the description box as well as the pinned comment. And as always, if you guys want to learn how to get 40% off of all of the items in the chalk shop, then text my number on the screen, the word chalk to the number on the screen. And obviously I transferred on the stripes with my candy apple red chalk paste. Once again, I'll leave it all in the link down below. For the red star, I took this little star transfer and I did every first star with white, every second with my blue, and then every third with my gold. And then it also had these little itty bitty stars as well. So I transfer that on with my gold paste. And once you pull back that transfer to reveal this gorgeous image, y'all, I promise you this part never gets old. Moving on to the blue star, there was a bunch of patriotic words in a transfer. So I went ahead and used that once again, transferring on all of that with gold, white, and red. I then once again peel back my transfer and look how gorgeous that turned out. For the last star, I chose these stripes and of course, I just transferred on red, white, and blue every third line. Mm -hmm. 
Now I wish I would have painted the bigger star with this blue paste because it does have this gorgeous gold shimmer in it. But after I painted the first one, then I ended up using my chalk paste as paint because if you did not know, you can totally do that and you're going to see that here in a little bit. But once I was done transferring on all of my stars, then I took these round dowel rods that I got from Dollar Tree. I cut them down to size all different sizes because I wanted my stars to be at different heights if you will again you'll see that here in a minute and once I cut those down I sanded the edges smooth with my finger sander and then I give them all a really good coat of my Dixie Bell voodoo stain and I found that the easiest way to paint or stain dowels is just to lay them all side by side paint them as best as possible then I hold them at the top with a paper towel and I stain the rest of it and then just flip them over and repeat those steps. I dry them and set them aside and then I take this wooden plaque from Dollar Tree and I once again give it a good coat of my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain. I am in no way shape or form affiliated with them. I just absolutely love their products um, and if you guys want to get your own Voodoo stain check the link down in the description box below. Once that's completely dry, I'm going to just sand down all of the edges on the plaque. That way you can kind of see those details pop through. I also distressed the wooden dowels as well. And there's several ways that you can distress. You can either do a distressed coat of paint or stain that way you see the wood showing through you can use a different color paint and distress or as you see here you can sand down the edges and any other random spots to make these look old and rustic and as always if you do not like that you can totally skip this step a lot of times i will paint distress but for these particular projects I loved the old and weathered look when you used an actual sander so I went ahead and sand down the edges of the stars as well. Next, I'm gonna lay my stars face up and I'm just going to lay down the dowel rods on top of them to see exactly how I want them and where the placement should go. Then I flip them over, put a bead of hot glue on the back and just kind of eyeballed where I wanted the dowel. And then I glued those down and reinforced it with some hot glue on either side as well as like overlapping it in the back again I didn't want these stars to go anywhere and then I also repeated those steps for the rest of the stars Next, I made four bows with some random ribbons. I've had a bunch of these in my stash for a while, and the Americana or American flag one, I did get that from Walmart. So I just went ahead and just kind of placed the bows on my stars, and I just do that to make sure I know where the placement is and I like the way it looks before I glue it down. Then I glue it down, and I also glue the stars and the dowel rods down to the wooden plaque. I set that aside and then I'm going to take this piece of wood that I got from Dollar Tree in the crafter square section. I'm going to lay my transfer over it that I'm going to use, mark it, and cut it down with my DeWalt saw that is also linked down in the description box in my Amazon shop as well. You will see all of my links are now in one place. Click here. So you just want to click that and you can find all of my links. And then I gave this wood a distressed coat of white Waverly chalk paint. Once that was dry, then I distressed it with my antique wax and a chip brush. Next, I pulled these letters out that I had in my stash. I believe I got these at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And I just pulled out the word July 4th and I laid them out 
red, white, blue, red, white, blue for each letter and then painted all of the letters that I needed red, red, and the others white and blue. For the blue letters, I wanted to emulate little stars, but I knew that I would not be able to like make itty bitty stars. So I did just go ahead and put white dots over each of the blue letters using a very tiny paintbrush and some white Waverly chalk paint. I then take a piece of painter's tape and I just lay that across the bottom of my piece of wood. That way I could line the letters up perfectly and then I went ahead and glued those down with some Gorilla Glue Super Glue and I also used my Cricut tweezers. That way I could make sure that I got these nice and stuck down and even once again. Now this Gorilla Glue Super Glue is extremely powerful, so you don't need a whole lot. So all I did was put about two to four dots on each letter, and then I glued those down. I then took this scrap piece from the first piece of wood that we used, and I stained that with my Dixie Belle Voodoo Stain, giving it a distressed coat. Once it was completely dry, then I went ahead and distressed it further with my finger sander. And just like that, your wood looks nice and old and weathered. Again, if you do not like that look, then totally skip that step. Next, I'm going to take my 1776 and I'm going to transfer on each number, red, white, blue, and then gold. And then if you see those gold stars to my left, I had those in my stash. I don't even know where they came from, y'all. But I peel back that gorgeous transfer. Look how gorgeous that turned out. And then I'm going to take these gold stars that I had in my stash and I'm going to glue them down on either side of the numbers. Next, I'm going to take these tiny little wooden stars that I got in a pack of all these little different wood cutouts from Dollar Tree, and of course, I paint them red, white, and blue. Once they were completely dry, I put the blue one to the left, and then the red and white one on the right, just randomly. And once again, use your imagination. If you don't like the placement or the colors that I used, you can totally switch this up to the way that you like it. Next, I'm going to use some hot glue and these dowel rods that I had in my stash that were just scrap pieces. And I'm going to put them at the bottom of this piece of wood. And that is because I want to glue this down on an angle. And I knew that there wasn't much to glue to on the edge. So once I glued down the dowel rods, then I put some hot glue on the bottom of the piece of wood as well as the dowel rods. I put that underneath July 4th, again on an angle, and then I glue behind the wood so that it glued to the dowel rods on the stars. And that was it, you guys. Look how absolutely stunning this turned out. I am so in love with this display. Let me know down in the comments, would you have changed up the patterns or do you love it just the way it is? If you guys are enjoying this video, I would greatly appreciate if you would subscribe if you haven't already and become part of my crafty family, share it out. That way you don't miss any DIYs or any fun stuff going on on my channel. So with that being said, I want each and every one of you to know how much I love and appreciate you. And let's jump back into today's video. 
For the next DIY, we're going to use this chalkboard picture frame from Dollar Tree. And I showed you the sign that way because I don't know what I was doing here, y'all. I totally forgot to hit the record button on pretty much this entire project, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I stained the edge of the frame with my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain. Once it was dry, I sanded down the edges to distress it. I then transferred on July 4th, 1776, and obviously I painted those little stars with my red, white, blue, and gold and then I glue those down to the bottom now I felt like the wording was missing just a little something so I took this gold acrylic paint and I just kind of highlighted the edges on the red and I also highlighted the bottom of the numbers and just like that, I have this gorgeous little sign. And I know that was super quick, but y'all, that is how quick this sign was. Honestly, it probably took me 10 to 15 minutes to make this. And I absolutely love the way that it turned out. So let me know, as always, down in the comments, which DIY was your favorite. Okay, friends, for the last and final DIY, I'm going to take these large stir sticks that I get from Home Depot. I believe they were only like 97 cents a pack, and you get three in each pack. And I just start by cutting all of the handles off with my little mini circular saw. Once again, you can find it in my Amazon shop. Next, I'm going to sand the edges smooth, and then I'm just going to lay them out. I'm going to lay my transfer on top to see how many I need and how big I need my sign to be. And I just kind of mark where I need the stars to be as well. And I drew a line down the first three. That way I knew where to paint. Next, I'm going to paint each one red, white, red, white obviously just like an American flag, making sure to leave space again where the lines are on the top three so that I can paint it blue. And obviously I gave these a distressed coat of paint because I wanted that natural wood to shine through. But again, if you don't like that, then you can give it a thicker coat. Next, I'm going to use my chalk paste to paint the blue section. Now, you can water this paste down, but because this is a shimmer paste, I did not want to take away from that shimmer and water the shimmer down. So, I'm just going in with a brush and the paste just like it is. And the trick to doing it this way is... It's going to be a little thick because chalk paste is a lot thicker than paint. So if you get spots that are a little bit bumpy, all you're going to do is just kind of swirl your brush to smooth it out. And then you will see here in a minute how I do that. And it also brings that shimmer through really well as well when I swirl it. So I love this chalk paste. I'm like really really in love with it that gold shimmer shining through is just literal chef's kiss of course y'all know i'm super impatient so i go ahead and hit that blue section with my blow dryer the white and the red sections were already dry and then i'm just going to distress them with my dixie bell voodoo stain and a chip brush making sure to focus on the edges as well as on the inside. Now, normally I would not do the red ones. I would just do the white ones, but I feel like patriotic and Americana decor is super rustic, even the red colors. So I decided to go ahead and distress those as well. And again, if I have to keep saying it, but if you don't like it, then totally skip that step. 
Next, I'm going to flip them over and arrange them with just a small space in between my pieces. And then I'm gonna use a scrap piece of a stir stick to hot glue those together. Next, I'm gonna take this same star transfer that we used in the first DIY, and I'm going to transfer that on, kind of making sure that the edge was completely full, if you will, so I left one of the points out, if that makes sense. And then I'm just gonna continue to transfer that on, drying in between coats all the way until my blue section is completely covered with stars. Now, no, the stars are not completely perfect, but I think it just adds to the character of the rustic DIY. Let me know down in the comments. Does that bother you that they're not completely perfect, or do you love it just the way that it is? So next I'm gonna pull out my transfer and the coordinating cutouts. These are called chalkable chips. And here lately they've been coming out with chips that match the transfers themselves. So I absolutely loved these little uh, cutouts when I saw them. And my husband loves American Americana or patriotic decor with the eagle and the flag. He loves it. So he already claimed this sign, which made me feel really good. But anyway, I start by cutting up my transfer and then putting the chalkable chips to the transfers. That way, all I had to do was just transfer them on. Now, the America, um, they were so close together that I had to transfer them on separately. But for the stars, I transferred them on with gold, red, and blue. And then for the land of, or home of the brave, I should say, the little banner, I transferred that on with my black chalk paste, set that aside. Then I'm gonna transfer on the eagle with my brown paste and the head and the feet with my gold. And I also set that aside to dry. And then I transfer on all of the letters with my gold paste. After I made sure all of my pieces were completely dry, then I just laid out all of my chalkable chips onto my sign to make sure the placement was right where I wanted it. I took Land of the Free and I transferred that on to the third to last white stir stick. And then I pulled back that transfer and I hot glued down all of the other pieces. Once again, I will leave all of the items that I can find in my chalk shop in one link down in the description box as well as the pinned comment. And as always, if you don't like my placement, then you could totally make this yours, change up the placement, and let me know what you guys think of this sign. My husband loves it so much. I felt so good, like I said, when he was like, I'm putting this in my tool trailer. <laughs> He's so cute and funny, but let me know down in the comments which DIY was your favorite. Are you loving that gold shimmer blue or would you have rather it be like a solid color blue 
and once again let me know what you guys think as always if nobody has told you today you are absolutely stunning you are worthy you are gorgeous you can literally do anything you set your mind to coming from a heroin addict who is nine years sober i know that if i can do it you can do it as well look out for three more patriotic diys coming on friday i'm super super excited they're already filmed ready to go i just need to put it up so let me know if you're excited to see that and with that being said as always if you guys want any info on how I recently just lost 80 pounds of pure fat and have the best energy focus and mood of my entire life text my number on the screen the word ketones and if you would like to learn how to earn online income work from your phone and how to get healthy again text my number the word biz with that being said i love y'all so much and i will catch you in the next one bye Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.